Hey, what's everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division Two Weekly Cassie Mendoza reset. Well, guys, today she's located over here at the southwest, right opposite to the Air and Space Museum uh, mission. So yeah, and if you guys want to know where I found my snitch, as usual, I found him right next to the Castle Salmon in the alleyway in this location. Now, if you're having trouble finding your snitch, I always say that there is a video link in the comment section. If you watch that video, you will find your snitch every time. It's very easy to find him, actually. So now, let's take a look what she got for sale. I mean, clearly the same item as the countdown vendor. But like I said, if you wanted the countdown vendor item and you don't have the countdown credit, well, buy it from here. As you can see, Mozambique Special, Pistol, uh, the Perfect Bread Basket Talon. The health damage here the pistol damage the same stats same goes for the battery park backpack uh, perfectly calculated talent with a crit chance here 4.9 percent and 8.3 status effect so yeah if you wanted to buy these yesterday well now you can buy it from normal credit so no need to spend count on credit yeah uh now next we have the shield splinter uh, splinter assault rifle which uh, it comes with the perfect optimist talent we have damage to target out of cover here already, 8%, 15% of health damage, and 11% of soul rifle damage. Now, this is a hunter exclusive item. What I mean by that is there are hunters in the game. If you clear them, then, well, you will be able to see this particular weapon at Cassie Mendoza. Otherwise, there will be nothing available. And how do you clear them? Well, I would say watch some guide videos on YouTube. There are a bunch of them. And you will be able to clear them in no time. You know, just do it on normal. Yeah, because they're hunters. Same goes for the Hunter Killer chest piece. It's also a Hunter exclusive item. Again, same thing. Play your Hunters. You will be able to see this. Uh, comes with the perfect up, uh, Intimidate talent. We have Armor Region here. And uh, Repair Skill, 16.6%. That's actually not that bad. Because Armor Region, always acceptable uh, to have. Especially uh, on, on this chest piece. Because 2-piece Golden Gear does give you 1% Armor Region as well. You know, So you can change the Repair Skill and add Crit Damage and more crit damage mod and you can use it on an smg build with a lot of bonus armor to keep the perfect intimidate active and you're gonna do insane amount of damage because obviously this is 40 percent multiplicative damage so that's really sweet and next we have the uh eclipse protocol backpack with 8.9 percent of uh status effect we have the negotiate dilemma chest piece with uh 12.1 weapon damage 8.1 headshot damage a hardware gloves with 16.8 repair skill, ongoing directive knee pads with 12.1 weapon damage and 7.6 headshot damage. A Hunter's Fury holster with maxed out weapon damage, that's really good. Uh, we have crit chance here, which obviously you can maximize that or you can change it to crit damage, you know. Then we have Negotiate Dilemma mask with maxed out weapon damage here as well, that's that's also really good. Uh, we have 6% of headshot damage, which again, you can change it to crit damage. Uh, next, we have Black Market RPK LMG with Sledgehammer Talon, which is a new talent, the Sledgehammer. Uh, so you can buy this to extract it for your LMG. Now, this comes with maxed out headshot damage and damage to target out of cover. So that's really sweet as well. Okay, lots of uh, maxed out uh, stats here. All right, that's that's rare. That's rare to see, honestly. So we have the custom M44 Marksman Rifle with Optimus Talon. 8% of crit damage, 103% headshot damage, 10.9% of Marksman Rifle damage. Uh, then we have the Providence backpack here with maxed out headshot damage. We have Protect Talon, um, Explosive Resistance 7.1 and 10.7 weapon damage. Orioldi Holdings holster here with 11% weapon damage, 10.2 skill haste and 9.2% of status effect. Then we have a defensive system mod with, oh, protection from elite here as well at Cassie Mendoza. Are you kidding me? Well, that's, uh, that's good. That's really good because... Uh, if you guys followed my yesterday's vendor reset, which is the weekly vendor reset, I think the clan's vendor was selling 12% uh, of production from elites, right? So now Cassie Mendoza also has 12%. See, when when you don't have it, you don't have it. When you have it, you have it in a bunch. That's the thing of the vendors, you know? And I really think Cassie Mendoza steals other vendors' items. The other vendors need to watch their stocks. Their stocks getting missing because she is stealing it from them. I, I believe that's happening. All right, next we have the Secret Mind mod here with 6.3%. She's a sneaky, sneaky girl. She likes to steal. I mean, obviously she's a secret vendor, you know, she's kind of stealing those items and selling it for herself. That's so bad, okay. But yeah, well, we have uh, that as well. So what you can buy from Cassie Mendoza, honestly, Hunter Killa, always recommend that. It's pretty decent with the armor regen. Uh, we got a bunch of these uh, with uh, 
weapon damage maxed out so you can buy it you know hunter's fury really nice gear set negotiate dilemma op actually really really awesome uh gear set as well both of them so if you want these pieces buy it because they're maxed out weapon damage and uh the production room elite obviously pick it up from here if you haven't uh from yesterday from clan vendor for some reason if you forgot or something like that you know uh you can pick it up from here as well so that's basically for the video hope you guys will find what you're looking for and i will see you guys in the next one till then peace